Praise God. Genesis chapter 1. Hale moshipa la fete prodia. Thank you, dear Lord Jesus. Genesis chapter 1, read from verse 1 to 3. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Can we see it together? Then verse 2. And the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the what? What else? Actually, in biblical interpretation, that's simple theology. It is said that any doctrinal stance finds its root from the book of Genesis. So, if you want to establish a doctrine in the scripture, theologically speaking, all right, it begins from the book of Genesis. Are you getting it now? For example, if you are to talk about Christ, it began from the book of Genesis. So, every topic in the scripture, as far as the Bible is concerned, all right, found its root from this book, the book of Genesis. Are you following? So, just, just follow uh, me this evening. And God said, let there be what? Light. And there was, can we see? God said, let there be light. And there was light. Let, let us see further. What happened? And God saw the light that it was good. And God divided the light from the darkness. Now, you see that here is it. And God said, let there be light. And there was light. Isn't it? Let's quickly go to verse 14 and 15. Verse 14 and 15. We just, let's wrap through that scripture. And God said, let there be lights. Where? In the firmament of the heaven. So divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Let there be light where? In the firmament. Remember when he said let there be light the first time. He didn't tell us where that one originated from. But this time around he's telling us where it came from. He said let there be light in the firmament. Where that light should be located. Are you following? Then verse 15. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon where? Upon where? Are, are you seeing that? To give light upon the earth. So the function of these lights was defined right from the beginning. So the light showed up in the firmament to give light upon the earth. Are you following now? Can you see the function? Now, what happened? Because, according to this scripture, it revealed to us that God spoke forth light twice. The first time he said, let there be light. And then, through the creation of, in fact, the first let there be light in Genesis chapter 1 verse, verse 3 was the first thing that God spoke forth. The spirit of the Lord over around, right? And he said, let there be light. And there was light. And before he began to, every other thing, so, everything that was created was created in the presence of that light. Are you following? Now, just, just follow through. What is that light? Or who is that light that Jesus, that the Bible is talking about? Alright, here. In the book of Revelation chapter 22. Revelation 22, verse 4 and 5. Can we read it together? And they shall see his face, and his name shall be shall be in their what? Verse 5. And there shall be no night there. And they need no candle. Neither light of the sun. Remember the second, the light that we saw in Genesis 1, 14 and 15 speaks of the light of the sun. Alright? But here he's talking about a city. And he said there will be no need for the light, light of the sun. For the Lord God giveth them light, and they shall reign forever. And the Lord God gives what? The Lord God give actually these does not give the actual explanation of that scripture. All right. In the original rendition, it says, "For the Lord God is the light." Are you following? For the Lord God is the light. 
Because the Lord God is the light, there is no need for the light of the sun and the light of the moon. Are you following now? Remember that this same light we are talking about is a personality. And it was in the presence of this light in Genesis 1-3 the other thing was invented. So in the presence of that light, inventions came into existence. Because in John chapter 1, John chapter 1, let's take it further. John chapter 1, verse 3. The Bible says, all things were made by him. By who? Who is the scripture referring to? All things were made by him. In other words, all things were invented by him. And without him was not anything invented that was invented. All things were invented by him. But without that personality, that light, there was nothing that was invented that was what? Invented. What point were all things invented by him? As at the point in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 when God said, let there be light. So that light that appeared was actually the appearance of Christ in his glory. So when the Father said, let there be light, Christ appeared. So it was in the presence of Christ that every other thing that began to come into being. Are you following now? So when he said, let there be waters here in this firmament, let there be sun here, let there be... So the sun came out of the light that was already present. The moon came out of the light that was already present. Are you following now? So the stars, the animals, all of them came out of the light that was already present. So you know saying, all things were made by him, all things were invented by him. And without him, there was not anything that was invented that was what? Invented. We are going somewhere this evening shortly. You see, the church, because we do not know who we are. The world is defining us. Most importantly, the most irony, uh, uh, one of the things I've been able to find out is the fact that a lot of believers do know what the church means. So when you talk about church, what comes to the mind of most people is a certain denomination. Actually, according to the scripture, the definition of the church is where two or more are gathered in his name. Alright? That is a church. Are you getting it? But what is the role or what are the roles of the church, of the body of Christ to the universe, to the earth? Because I, most times when people are commenting and talking about the church on social media, why our church is not doing welfare packages? Why our church is not doing this? Why our church is not constructing road? Why our church is not alleviating people uh, uh, from poverty? Why our church is not doing... Do you understand? What, uh, each time they castigate the church, I look at it and I see comments of many believers, people who are born, brought up, buttered in church. And I shake my head. Because a lot of believers do not even understand the efficacy of the church a lot of believers don't know the power that resides in us as the body of Christ so just within a few seconds or a few minutes I'm going to be showing us what God has given to us and what has been made available to us in Christ do you understand and the importance of the church to nations of the earth You know, this is a conference. In a conference, what is the purpose? <laughs> to teach. So that people's mind can be shifted a little. <laughs> or some people's mind can be renovated. Are you getting it now? So, uh, the essence of con conference, uh, apart from the fact that we are going to be meeting people's spiritual needs. If you are sick here, you'll be healed. Alright? If you are confused as regarding any matter in your life, the Lord is going to be speaking through us to you. Are you following? But apart from all the most important thing and the most essence of being together as God's people is to learn the word of God. Are you, are you following now? And that is why it is called a conference. Praise God. So all things were made by him and without him was not anything. 
So the Bible says, and there was nothing that was invented without him. Ah. If, if there was anything at all that was invented, it was never without him. If there has ever been any invention at all, all right, those inventions were fabricated from him. So there is nothing that was invented outside of him. So he is the center of all inventions. Are you following? Hear this. The devil can't create anything. Let me tell you something. About <laughs> when Jesus came, Jesus wanted to introduce us to the man called Satan the devil, right? And the first thing he did was to call him a name. In the book of John chapter 10 verse 10, he said, The thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and to what? Destroy. The one who can steal, who can kill, who can destroy, can he invent? Do you understand? So the devil was trained to steal. He was powered to kill. He was powered to destroy. In other words, Satan, the devil, has nothing to what? To create. So why is he here? He said, the thief come at number to steal, to kill, and to destroy. That is the essence of his presence on, in the world. Remember in, in 24, verse 1, the Bible said, the earth is the Lord, and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So if the earth is the Lord, and Satan the devil is on the earth, what do you think he has come to do? Eh? He has come to steal, to kill, and to what? Destroy. So he purposely came to pervert that which God had invented. So the devil cannot invent anything. He can't create anything. Search your scripture from the book of Genesis to Revelation. You will never find a, a single verse where the devil created anything. You will search your scripture. That actually reveals that man called the devil does not have anything to do with inventions. So the only thing he does is to pervert. Do you get it now? Please follow me tonight. Kase <laughs> Monakayanaba. Hear this. The reason why the devil is bent on destroying the earth, alright, is primarily because he wasn't the one that put it here. The reason why the devil is bent on destroying the earth is primarily because he wasn't the one that put it here. Do you understand? And the Bible began to speak about the same devil. In the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4, the Bible called him the God of this world. Do you know what that means? The God of this world is not the same thing as the God of this earth. The earth system means the cosmos system. But the world is a system that is what? A subset of the cosmos system. And that system is called Aeon. So Satan the devil is the one in charge of the government of the system called what? The, the world. Are you following? Why is he in charge of that government? To carry out his sole assignment, which is to steal, to kill, and to what? And to destroy. <laughs> Most times, people keep blaming people in government for things that are not going right. Isn't it? Why are the health facilities not intact? Why are people... In fact, when you go to even developed countries, they still have issues there. Am I wrong? There is no nation in this world, on this earth today, eh, that is free of one problem or the other. Why? The reason is simple. Satan cannot that is this system, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord over this aeon system, who is Satan the devil, cannot, ha, 
has no solution to provide to the problem of the world. Do you get it? He does not have any solution to provide for the problem of the world. Hear this. When Jesus came into the scene, in the book of Matthew chapter 5, we are going to read. When Jesus came into the scene, he knew that he was not going to stay for too long. But what did he do? But in order for the world to keep enjoying solutions from the problem created by Satan the devil and to keep enjoying solutions do you understand? From the problem that will be created from Satan the devil he left us the church. In the book of Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 Jesus was speaking to his church eh? the disciples and he said something very profound. He said, what is this? Ye are the light of ye are the light of I want you to know that within the context of Jesus' statement, he wasn't talking to an individual. He was talking to a people. So if Jesus said ye are the light of the world, he wasn't referring to an individual. He was actually talking about a people. Are you following now? Remember when he came, he came as the joy of the whole world. So he became a solution provider. Alright? Remember that. But now he is about to leave. And he needed to continue to be what? To be here. And what did he do? He called the church the light. Remember if you read that chapter, he said, I am the light of the world. That was the first thing he said. Then before he went ahead to say, you are the world, the light of the world. So referring to the church. You are the light of the world. You are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be what? Be healed. So the church is here primarily so that the world can have light. The church is here primarily so that the world can have what? Light. 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 There is one thing I want you to note about this light. This light is the same. Alright? That was present at creation. Hmm. Hmm. The same light that was present at creation is, is this light. In the book of remember that it was in the presence of the light that all things were created. It was in the presence of the light that all things came into existence, right? Are you following now? So, in the inspiration behind every invention happened in the presence of the light. So, it was the light that gave inspiration to inventions. This is why in Job 32 verse 8, the Bible says, There is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty gives what? Understanding. Hey! There is a spirit in man. The inspiration of the Almighty gives understanding. You see, the light the world is enjoying today is because of the presence of the church. Listen to this. Scientists could not have been able to invent anything without the presence of the church. Because that light is the supplier of the inspiration. Do you understand? So, as long as we are here, the solution to the world problem is here. Take touch out of this earth and the devil will destroy the world in a second. It is the presence of the, of the church that has been restraining Satan from striking the earth. Are you following? So if there was any invention
invasion at all. And if there will be any invasion at all, all right, that invasion will be what fabricated out of the church. Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. So, men are not just inspired. Men are inspired by a presence. What? Light. <laughs> Praise the Lord. John chapter 9 verse 5. Hmm. I'm running off already. John chapter 9 verse 5. Jesus is now saying, as long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Is Jesus still in the world? <laughs> the church is in the world. Jesus is the head of the church. Right? Isn't it? And the church of Christ. Am I wrong? So Jesus is still where? In the world. And he says, as of the world. So Jesus is still here through us. So because we are here, Jesus is here, so the light is here. And remember that there was nothing that was invented outside of the presence of that light. So there is nothing that can be invented outside the presence of the church. Are you following here? When we talk about the church, something should leave your mind. The church is not the beauty. The church is is the synergy of believers synergies of those who call upon the name of the lord the church is where two or more are gathered together in his name are you following now so we are a church we are a people calling upon the name of the lord so by virtue of our presence light is present The church go as far as controlling the atmosphere. Are you following now? So there is nothing that can be inspired as far as inspiration is concerned. Look, listen to me. Why do you think that believers is fighting the church? A have you asked yourself why do they keep fighting? Why are they fighting the church? What has the church done against them? Or what has the church done to them? daily basis if it is an unbelief that does something nobody will talk about it but as long as it is church a denomination you it will go viral are you following why do they keep doing that for you to know how the devil really hates the church you know why we are the solution to the earth problem so Satan the devil knows that as long as these people are still here, they are restraining me from acting. They are restraining me from carrying out my activities. They are restraining me from destroying the world. Are you getting it? So he is bent on ensuring that the church, and one thing about the church is the church can, can be destroyed. <laughs> the church cannot be destroyed. Do you know why? The very life of Christ is flowing upon the church. Eh? Remember that in the book of Acts chapter 9 he was on his way to Damascus. He had an encounter with Jesus. And Jesus said to him, So, so why do you persecute me? Alright? You can't kick against the pricks. When Jesus said you can't kick against the pricks, he was actually telling him in other words that you cannot kick against my gospel. Do you understand? So you can't kick against the pigs. You can't kick against my gospel. Remember when
when Jesus was hung on that cross, the Bible says the tongue a crown of thorn on his head and blood began to, to gush out right and the blood began to flow down to his body that is jesus is the head of the church the christ says the life of a thing is in the blood blood was flowing from the head of jesus down to his body life was flowing from the head of the church to the body of the church are you following now? So that is why we are indestructible. No matter the number or the amount of opposition, <laughs> the church can't be destroyed. Hallelujah. So see yourself beyond just a member of a denomination. See yourself as a member of a church. Or see yourself as a member of the church. The church so when you see yourself that way your composition your disposition your attitude your character your behavior in the midst of unbelievers will be different because you will know that we are the ones supplying lights so when whenever they say there is a new scientific discovery yeah you said the church has done it again uh, uh, you understand the church has done it again see let me tell you something there is nothing the devil can inspire the devil can only inspire destruction. He can only inspire destruction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There was a day we were praying here. That was, I think that was few, about two months ago. December, I step out. The Holy Ghost just said I should walk down there. And I did. When I got there, I, that the car scored four times. I was looking at the uh, what kind of a thing is this? The car was some assaulting. The first time, the second time, the third, the fourth one, and it stood and it continued its journey. Uh, uh, and the Lord said to me, He said, It can't be worse than that because you are here. What? I mean, so that life was preserved because we are here. Do, do you get it now? So that life was actually preserved because we are here. He said, It can't be worse than that because you are here. Wow. I said, Wow. Anywhere you see the church, Eh? You have seen the solution. So if they are saying, um, create more employment for them, build more schools, or build more laboratories, build more scientific research, or they're about, do you understand? Tell them we are, we are the ones supplying the energy. The energy required for the scientists to be inspired to profess solution to the problem of the world. We are the ones supplying it. God is the supplier of that energy. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. The father could not create anything until the appearance of that light. <laughs> eh? So scientists can't create anything until the appearance of that light. And the light is here. Oh, the light is here. The light is here. The light. We are here. The light is here. Glory to God. Because we are here, the light is here. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let's be on our feet because of our time. Time is fast spent already. We are going to talk to God. We just, just one prayer. We declare that we make light available for fresh scientific inventions. That we bring solutions to humanity. Do you understand? We make light available. Supply the energy, the light. Apply the light. We supply the energy for fresh scientific world just that will bring a solution to humanity. Shut up, run the fake zibaroja. 
Katele Kostiba la Kataparash. E grande e frezi paro jatale ketia. Malemona kate fidi kiti paraja. Grale kete ke zima na kayala balabalabash. E fe kete po. Le kete fete le bonda. Le kanama te fikiti paraj. Jean ko la barande fri prochata. Ile keti. Father we thank you. Oh, mana, 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 Que se feti, parate, le freketi, in Jesus. Mary, let me pray. Hear this. this. The mindset every one of us should carry, wherever we go, is that I'm a member of the church. So, if I find myself in a compound, or in a street, alright, that street must feel my presence. Do you understand? I want to share with us here there was a December that some folks came to my streets and the angel of the Lord tapped me and said there are strangers in your territory. I never knew that until that night. He said there are strangers in and I looked up these guys attire. That is a meeting. Diff cut from faces kinds of animals. And I looked and said, what are these guys doing here? Then I saw an food. He was waiting for an instruction from me. So the moment I said, in the name of Jesus, I command you guys to scatter. So every one of them began to disappear one after the other. And when I, when I got to my wife and I, we only held our hand and we said, we take over, we take charge of this environment. Dies here for as long as we, we are here. Nobody dies here. Nobody is afflicted here. Nobody is permitted to, to be buried here. That, that was the declaration. So that's it. And that night is foreigners are in your territory. We self, always carry that mindset. I'm in this street, nothing must go wrong. A member of the church is here. I'm in this compound. Nothing must go wrong. A member of the church is here. Do you understand? I'm in this environment. Nothing must go wrong. A member of the church is here. So if anything will happen, I must be what? Be aware. Nothing happened, for example, in my, in my environment without my consent. Sometimes they want to do something. I will just uh, walk up to, to my neighbor and say, this is what you are planning to do. <laughs> he said, how do you know? Ah, the spirit revealed it to me. I'm the controller general of this environment. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 do you understand? So one of them was so and when he came, he said, I'm traveling and by tomorrow this. I said, no, before you even told me, I already knew weeks ago that you'll be traveling today. He was shocked. He said, I said, ah, uh ah. -uh. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So wherever you the controller general of that environment and the controller general of that vicinity. Hallelujah. Develop that mindset. And you'll be a solution. I decree and I declare every one of you understand my voice tonight. You are not a liability. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can we celebrate Jesus?